is Heather and I'm from Philippines. I want to talk about the Book of Mormon. When I was in when I was a young woman, there's a requirement that we should read the Book of Mormon. So I, I read it and I realized I didn't understand what I'm reading because I'm I'm just focusing of how many pages left to read. But I decided to read it for the second time and I said to myself that I should I should ponder what I'm reading. I should I should be serious in reading it. And then that's the time I received impressions like I remember saying, Oh my gosh, wow, OMG because what they're telling here is really happening right now. This this latter days. And before I before I finish reading for the second time, there's a requirement. There's a challenge by Moroni. The end of the book. It's in Moroni chapter ten, verse verses three to four. Behold, I would exhort you that when you shall read these things. If it be wisdom in God that you should read them, that you would remember how merciful the Lord hath been unto the children of men from the creation of Adam, even down until the time that you shall receive these things and ponder it in your hearts, and which ye shall receive these things, I would exhort you that you would ask God the Eternal Father in the name of Christ, if these things are not true, and if you shall ask with a sincere heart, with real intent, having faith in Christ, He will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost. So, I prayed and asked Heavenly Father. I said, Heavenly Father, please let me let me feel if this book is true or not. And then I waited kind of long for the answer, and suddenly tears came. So, I know brothers and sisters that this is true, this book is true, I know that that the four standard works are true, the Bible, the Doctrine and Covenants, the Pearl of Great Price, and the Book of Mormon, I know that I'm so, um, I'm so happy to be a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And I share these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.